The Golden State Warriors scared everyone, and in today's video, we're going to be going through five underrated reasons why I think the Golden State Warriors are going to shock the NBA and how they have scared everyone from it. So make sure you like this video and don't forget if you want more Golden State Warriors content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel hitting that red button down below. But let's get straight into the first reason, and the first reason being is Jonathan Kaminga is given a bigger role. Now I have said this time and time again, but Jonathan Kaminga is going to be an all-out super superstar in the coming years. He is slowly getting more and more game time as time goes on, and I think it's honestly fantastic to see the development of Kuminga, who has become such a great player so far. Now, last season in 2021 to 2022, he actually averaged 9.3 points per game, 3.3 rebounds, and 0.9 assists. Now, they may not be such great stats, but you do have to realize that he only was averaging around 12 minutes a game, and he only did play, you know, half of those games as well, um, especially in last season. So when it comes to all of this, I think it is very important because Kaminga is going to be given a bigger role. As you all know, players such as Gary Payton II, we also have JTA, Juan Toscano Anderson, or Otto Porter Jr., who all left the team this season or this offseason. And now Jonathan Kaminga has been given a role to actually step up and play more minutes. Now, I think he can really fill that position. He does play the power forward position at 6'6", six six, 210 pounds, but I think he can move into that small forward position if needed and I think he's very capable of becoming a great role player. Now obviously he may not make his way into the starting lineup because you obviously have people such as Draymond Green or Andrew Wiggins who fill that spot but I think he can play a vital role in that second unit matched with players such as Jordan Poole. We also have other great signings such as Jermichael Green have also joined that. James Meisman will be coming off the bench so he has a lot of great players in his second unit that I think he can really implement off and really prosper from. So Jonathan Kamingo will have no problem really adjusting to a bigger role and I can see him definitely playing anywhere between 20 to 25 minutes per game which I think will increase his stats drastically. So honestly Jonathan Kaminga the NBA better watch out because he's coming at full force and I can definitely see him making an impact for the Warriors team this upcoming season. So number two underrated reason is Steph Curry is going to even be better this upcoming season. Now what I mean by this is as you all know Steph Curry put up some great numbers last season but I really do see him winning the season MVP next season due to the fact that he is now back on the roll and has his team completely healthy. Now don't get me wrong, Steph Curry definitely carries a Golden State Warriors, but what helps him really shine as well is having the likes of Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, all these great players around them and have them fully healthy. What it really does, it gives him the opportunity to even score more as Klay Thompson becomes a threat, also Andrew Wiggins, Draymond, and the list continues. So obviously he doesn't have the burden to himself to shoot every single shot and it will actually free him up on a lot of plays which will help him even perform better and even put up better stats. Now last season he definitely put up some MVP numbers averaging 25 points per game, 5.2 rebounds and 6.3 assists. So he put up some really great numbers which was fantastic to see. He also had a three point percentage of 38% and a field goal percentage of 43%. So he played very very well which I did really like. And I do think those numbers can definitely increase this up coming season with a lot of the players back completely healthy and finally in their groove I honestly see Steph Curry going for 30 a game and can definitely average that especially with this Golden State Warriors roster I think the roster although we have lost players such as GP the second you know Otto Porter and stuff it does give Steph Curry more of a burden to actually score more and I think he is up for the challenge and I can definitely see him averaging 30 no doubt about that and it has been said on a couple of rumors and a couple of interviews that I have watched on ESPN that's really Steph Curry has gotten a little bit bigger and has actually gained a lot of muscle size. So could we see Steph Curry become, you know, a proper defensive player next season? You know, he has been considered to be his biggest weakness, his defense. I think last playoffs, he actually really did show he's a great defender, guys. He's probably not up there with Clay or Andrew Wiggins, but he can definitely hold his own and is not a liability on defense. I think that was honestly fantastic and one of the reasons why Golden State Warriors also won. But on top of that, I think this season, if he comes back even stronger hey you never know Steph Curry may be locking you up as well as shooting threes in your face and I think the NBA should definitely be scared about that so underrated reason number three is Klay Thompson coming back in full force now I recently watched an interview of Klay Thompson where he was recently on ESPN and he actually had a lot to say when it comes to how he is feeling and he did say he pretty much feels he's a hundred percent there when it comes to his health and his athleticism especially with the injuries he faced over the past couple
couple of years. And I think it's honestly fantastic to see. People don't realize, even though Clay Thompson was injured, you know, uh, for a majority of the last couple of years, he still put up some pretty good numbers in the 2021-2022 season, where he actually averaged 20.4 points per game. He actually had 3.9 rebounds and 2.8 assists. Now, he has obviously averaged more when it comes to rebounds and assists in the past, but I think those are some pretty good numbers despite the fact that he's just recently come off an injury. Now, when it comes to his points as well, averaging 20 points is actually really good. His career high for averages in one season is actually only 22.3, so it's not that off. So he's been protruding really, really well, and he's kind of gone under the radar when it comes to Clay Thompson still putting up some very good numbers. Now, his three-point percentage was also 38% this year, and also a field goal percentage of 42%. Now, he has had a higher field goal percentage all the way up to 49%, and I think he can get there this upcoming season. But when it comes to his points, when it comes to his rebounds and assists, they're all almost pretty much there. It's those last few tips that I think he really needs to adjust, but that will come with time and as the healing continues. But this season coming up, I can definitely see Clay Thompson making the All-Star again, um, and I do think he is back where he used to be, and that's what makes the Warriors so scary. A lot of people don't realize, yes, Steph can go for 30, you know, 35 points per game, but on top of that, if Clay Thompson even goes for anything 20 points plus, I'm telling you, you are going to lose to the Golden State Warriors. That's just how it is. And to also have Andrew Wiggins now there, to have Draymond Green now there, it really does make it a recipe for disaster for the other teams. And I honestly see Clay Thompson being back in full force next season. Reason number four is Andrew Wiggins is going to have another all-star season. Now, a lot of you probably have forgotten that Andrew Wiggins actually did make the all-star this season. It came to a lot of people's of surprise, but when you saw the way he played in the playoffs, I think you now know why he actually made the All-Star. He was honestly tremendous in that series, especially against Boston. He put up some great numbers with a high of 26 points, and honestly, he was honestly such a great defensive stopper on top of all of that. Now, last season, when it comes to the regular season, he actually averaged 17.2 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, and 2.2 assists. So that was honestly fantastic to see. I think those are really good numbers as well. Now, where I do see Andrew Wiggins making the All-Star again and why I see that as such a big thing is that if Warriors are really high in the rankings, maybe in the top three, I can definitely see Andrew Wiggins, maybe Klay Thompson and also Steph Curry all make the All-Star and possibly even Draymond Green. So could we have a remake of, you know, Steph, Klay, Kevin Durant and also Draymond Green where they made it and four NBA players made it in one All-Star? Could we have that same thing? But now instead of KD, we have Andrew Wiggins. It may be the case guys and I think that'll honestly not only be fantastic for Andrew Wiggins career but it'll also give him better value for this kid team and give him more confidence to become an all-out superstar. I honestly see Andrew Wiggins as such a great player not only because of his offense but also his defense. He really does provide a lot and he's able to lock up some of the best players in the league and that's what makes him so dangerous. He doesn't need to drop 30-40 points a game because you already have Steph and Clay for that so if he does stick to his role of playing great defense defense and giving you 15 points, I'm telling you right now, Andrew Wiggins is honestly going to scare a bunch of NBA teams and especially scare the main players in those NBA teams as well. Another great thing about Andrew Wiggins is that he actually stands at 6 foot 7, 197 pounds, and he plays a small forward position. In today's league, guys, you see power forwards and sometimes even centers be at 6 foot 6, 6 foot 7. A lot of teams like to run small ball. I'm pretty sure Draymond Green is listed at 6 foot 6 and maybe even 6 foot Seven. So he's pretty much the same height. So Andrew Wiggins can definitely play that power forward position or even center if they really want to run a super small ball. But I think that's honestly great about Wiggins. Very versatile. And I honestly think he is such a great addition to this Warriors team. And it definitely did show by winning the championship last season. Reason number five, and probably the most underrated reason on this list, is Steve Kerr still coaching the Golden State Warriors. Now, I think a lot of you don't really understand how great of a coach Steve Kerr is. What really makes Steve Kerr great is he is able to actually adapt to the players that he is given and make the best out of them when it comes to what they can really offer to the team. So he's not expecting everyone to drop 20, 30, 40 points a game. He's looking for everyone to play their role and to do what they do best. So he's not expecting Andrew Wiggins to drop 30. That's Steph's job. He's not expecting Steph to guard the best player. That's Wiggins' job. And as you guys can see, that's why they are such a successful team. Steve Kerr, I think the reason why he's such a great coach was also because because not only he was an NBA player, but he played with some of the greatest teams out there. Obviously, he did play with
play with the Chicago Bulls, so he did play with Jordan, so we all know how that goes. He played with the San Antonio Spurs, and he also was the assistant coach for the San Antonio Spurs, and Coach Popovich definitely taught him a thing or two before he decided to take the head coaching job at Golden State Warriors. So it definitely really does show how he has so much experience, not only just in the NBA, but also NBA Finals, playoffs, and even winning the NBA championship. And it has definitely shown not only being a coach, but also being a player, he's able to implement a lot of great things to the team, whether that's running plays or whether that's assigning roles to each individual player that really suits their play style. I think also Golden State Warriors play style that Steve Kerr has implemented really does work, not only for this team, but also for the current NBA. As you all know, NBA is very fast paced. It's a lot about threes. If you can get more threes in than twos, then you're probably definitely going to win that game. And Steve Kerr has definitely taken that into his advantage and also do have to give a shout out to the front office as well. You know, when it comes to Bob Myers and the trades he has made or the signings he has made in order to create a team around Steph, around Kerr, around Clay, all these great players, it really does show how great this organization is when it comes to all of that because there is so much more than comes to, you know, Steph Curry dropping 40 points a game. So honestly, Steve Kerr, the fact that he's still coaching, I think it will set Golden State Warriors for another successful year. I can definitely see them winning another NBA championship next season. And I am going to be a very excited to see how they go because I do think they can get the best record next season, especially in the Western Conference. So guys, I did want to say, let me know down in the comments what you think. And thank you so much for 9,000 subscribers. It's honestly been so amazing. So let me know down in the comments what you think. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you soon. Peace.